Amrita and the Trees Here is Amrita, and here is her village. It is hot in the village. It is very hot. Amrita loves the tree, the beautiful, big, green tree. I love you, tree, says Amrita. I love your green leaves. They keep me cool. There is a forest near the village, a forest of trees. And there is a desert, a desert of hot, hot sand. Amrita doesn't play in the desert. It is too hot there, much too hot. But she often plays in the forest. It is cool there, nice and cool. One day men come. They come with axes. The king wants wood, they say. The men from the village must go. Amrita's father must go. They must go and chop down the trees, the beautiful forest trees. Why? cries Amrita. Why? Stop it, she cries. But the men don't hear her. The king wants wood, so the men don't listen. They chop and chop and chop. Then it rains. It rains a lot. It rains and rains. There are no trees to hold the mud, so mud and water fill the river. And then the river floods. The river floods the village. Help! cry the villagers. Cling to the tree. Cling to the branches of the big tree. Houses float away. Animals float away. The villagers cling to the tree. They cling to the branches of the big tree. And their village floats. Their village floats away. Then there is mud. Mud, mud, mud. And now everyone must work. They must build. They must build the village again. They must plant. They must plant new trees. Grow quickly, trees, they say. Grow quickly. Grow tall. The villagers build their village again. And the new trees grow big and strong. Amrita grows too. She gets married, and everyone dances. They dance around the big tree. They dance and sing. Everyone is happy, and everything is beautiful. Then Amrita has children, and her children love the tree, the beautiful, big, green tree. The forest trees are big and strong. And Amrita's children play there often. It is cool there, nice and cool. But they don't play in the desert. It is too hot there, much too hot. Sometimes the wind is strong. The wind is strong and it blows the sand. The sand tries to go to the village, but the forest trees are there so it can't. A little sand comes through the door, and Amrita sends it away. She sends it back outside. Thank you, forest trees, she says. You help us in many ways. Then one day men come again. They come from the king. The king wants more wood, they say. Get up, they say to the village men. Get up and help us. We must chop down all the trees. At first, nobody speaks. Nobody says anything. Get up, say the king's men. Slowly, the men get up. No, says Amrita. You can't have our trees. We need our trees. You can't chop them down. Be quiet, woman, say the king's men. The king wants them. No, says Amrita. He can't have them. 
Be quiet, woman, they say. Take your children home. Right, let's start work. Let's chop this tree first. No, cries Amrita. She runs to the tree. She puts her arms around it. You can't chop it down. Stand away, shout the king's men. No, says Amrita. Then the villagers run. They each run to a tree. And Amrita's children run to a tree. They put their arms around it. The king's men are angry. Move away from the trees, they shout. No, shouts Amrita. No, shout all the villagers. No, no, no. No, say Amrita's little children. No, no, no. This is wrong, say the king's men. These people need their trees. It is wrong to take them. We must go to another place. Then the people speak. Look, there is a forest over there, across the desert. Look, there is no village over there. Take some of those trees. Yes, take some of those trees, says Amrita, but not all of them. And remember to give. Don't just take, give, give back. Take some trees and then plant more trees. Tell this to the king. And they do. Yes, they do. The end.